Hey everybody, Wrestling Figure Observer Podcast, episode 19. It's December 21st, 2016. And as always, we're going to bring you all up to date in the world of wrestling figures. But before we get into that, I really want to say thank you to each and every single one of you. Uh, The last few days have been my best days ever on YouTube. I received such a great amount of views. The two new videos that I uploaded on the weekend almost reached 10,000 views within 24 hours, which is absolutely insane, at least for my channel. Also, I got a lot of likes on this video, which is always appreciated, as you guys know. And also, I received a ton of new subscribers, a ton of great comments, nice comments from you guys. Really do appreciate it so much. I really wanted to say that before we start today's episode. I just appreciate it so much and wanted to say thank you. But now let's get into today's news and I really wanted to give you guys the heads up that Amazon is currently having an amazing sale on WWE figures. There are some figures that are super cheap. They have the Defining Moments John Cena, 10 bucks. They have the Elite 44 Biggie, 10.99. Let me take a look here at my list. I made a list of all the deals. Um, they have the Zombies Roman Reigns, 5 bucks. They have Elite 41 Ryback, 5 99 They have Elite 45 Regal, 7 55 I have a really long list here, and I'm going to put that in the description below. So if you want to take advantage of that sale, picking up some more figures before Christmas, uh, that should be a really good deal there for you. They have so many great deals. Uh, You should definitely take advantage of that if you need any of those figures. Uh, So that's kind of what I wanted to tell you guys about first. And now we get into more news. And there have been images of the new WWE retro figure line that is coming out in spring of 2017. So basically what Mattel is doing there, they are recreating the Hasbro line. That was like the figure line in the 80s, I would say. And yeah, they are recreating those with current and flashback superstars in the line. They are kind of copying the packaging. It's kind of similar to how the Hasbro figures came. So it looks kind of cool. It has like the more classic WWE logo on there. And the first wave, I believe, will have six figures in it. And it will feature the Ultimate Warrior. This is the basic 29 attire that we got from Mattel before. But it uh, looks pretty cool. We're getting the Elite. not el- It's the Elite 23 Undertaker look. But that is also part of the new retro line there. We have Brock Lesnar in his current look. I think that is even the Elite 19 head skin on there. Kind of looks similar to that. Then we have John Cena who comes with a hat and the green and orange bands. Looks pretty good. We get a Kevin Owens. That head skin looks kind of new to me as well. And we got a Roman Reigns as well in the set. And all these figures kind of have a signature move, pose, something. So they all have like an action move included like the Hasbro's hat. So what I wanted to ask you guys, is that something that you are interested in? I think it will be something great for older collectors that collected Hasbro when they were kids and now can kind of recreate that in getting those new figures that are in the same style. Um, Me personally, I don't know if I'm too excited for them. I definitely would get some to just see how they are, I would assume. But I don't know if that's something that will appeal to kids and like that as well. So we got to see how that works out. Definitely let me know if you're interested in collecting those. And also we got some more news, some more lineup news actually for the basic line. And let me open my notes here really quick. We got some new names announced for upcoming basic set. And so basic 70 should be coming out in January. That is the set with uh, Carmella and the Ric Flair in suit and we'll have a John Cena, Samoa Joe and uh, a few others. So that set we already knew of but now there are some new names that will be in the basic line after that set. 
So we have a new Undertaker coming out. That might be his WrestleMania 32 attire from the Hell in a Cell match with Shane. We got a new R Truth in the line, which is surprising. We didn't have R Truth in a while. We got getting a new Charlotte, hopefully with a new hat scan. We are getting Austin Aries, and that might be the one from the Crash Cage playset review that I showed you guys. Some people said it was Elite, but it definitely wasn't. Um, Baron Corbin getting a new basic release. I'm wondering when we're getting an Elite Corbin. I think that should be soon as well. Uh, Dean Ambrose again in the line. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura also in the line. And I don't know, this will probably come out before his Defining Moments figure, I would assume. Because the basics usually, most of the time, hit before the Elite. Sometimes uh, the Elite hit before the basic lately, but... I do think that should come out before the Defining Moments figure. Uh, new Dolph Ziggler, Sheamus, The Miz, nothing too special there. Um, Nia Jax, and now that could be a really interesting figure because they definitely need to make a new mold. They can't like reuse old parts because man, Nia Jax is really big. I mean, um, when she was on Raw with Sasha, man, I just really noticed how big she really is and yeah, Definitely need some new parts, and I'm really interested to see how this figure turns out. Kane again in the line. I mean, Kane is always the same figure, kinda, but it seems to sell well because he's in like every other line. And then we have Seth Rollins, which might be an updated version of Seth Rollins. And then also we got the basic 73 lineup. So those lineups that I just uh, read to you are probably uh, figures from basic 71 and basic 72 and then we have basic 73 and in that set we have triple h i don't really know what they would do for that figure i mean they already did the uh, wrestlemania attire in elite form but maybe they're making a basic of it or a triple agent suit would be kind of cool again in the basic line uh, we have seth rollins again so that will probably be like the money in the bank or extreme rules attire i would assume because we're getting the SummerSlam attire as i mentioned in the last episode uh, in the basic SummerSlam line that is coming out as well we got biggie must be another new day attire with basic 73 aj styles which i hope is wrestlemania 32 attire but i also kind of I'm hoping that it's not because I really want that as an elite as well. I mean, it could be the payback attire as well, the red one. That looked pretty great. Man, I think I'm going to collect all the AJ Styles figures, also the basics, because I'm just a huge AJ Styles fan. Um, basic 73 Kevin Owens. I don't know. Will probably be another basic attire with uh, the new head scan from Elite 47. Maybe they even put kick pads on him. So they kind of need to update that because he of course switched from boots to kick pads and the Elite 47 still didn't have kick pads. So maybe that's something they could change there. And also in the line we have Cesaro and that is it. That is the lineup. Uh, in those new lineups here there's nothing too exciting. I'm like I said, I'm looking forward to Nia Jax and the Austin Aries is something really cool too. And then otherwise you gotta see how these figures look. Maybe there are some new head scans and stuff that make the figures more interesting. But otherwise it doesn't sound too exciting to me. Let me know what you're looking forward to from those lineups. And I would say that pretty much wraps it up for this week's episode. Um... I will be back once we have more news from the wrestling figure world. We're pretty much up to date right now, so we just gotta wait for new news to come. And we're going to cover those in the next episode. As always, I thank you guys a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like. That is always really appreciated. And make sure to watch another video from this channel. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys in the next one.